Welcome back guys, I am Error and I will be showing you in this video uh, what we are going to do with the GP we just earned from the Mod House game. Uh, we are going to be going to the Shooting Coaster minigame and we are going to be learning how to get Aerith's Umbrella. Uh, this is her joke weapon if you will. Um, it is one of her highest damage weapons. But it has zero materia slots, so it's kind of a mixed bag, but it will uh, turn her into a damaged powerhouse, uh, more or less. So, we want to go all the way over here to the uh, speed um, coaster, or whatever it is, and it's going to be 10 GP. Um, we earned 30 GP from the Mog House game, so technically that gets you three tries. If I had to guess, you're probably going to have to try more than three times, though. So um, I would recommend using five of the GP to save. Um, I used ten to save, just because I want to rearrange everything and it, whatever. But anyway, you're going to get two two tries, um, and then if you don't get it in those two tries, you're going to restart and just keep going at it. Um, I will say that you probably can miss this weapon, unless you're trying to 100% the game like I am, you can just bypass this, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, there is an ultimate weapon for her that's probably going to be better for you, um, but if you want to learn how to get it, this is how you're going to get it. So you pay the man, and you go on the coaster. Now, there is a trick to this. There is one special item that you need to shoot here. And if you get that one item, it should be enough to get you the high score on its own. Um, it'll get, you, you need to get more than 5,000 points to get her umbrella, and you can certainly do that the legit way by just shooting all the objects that come at you but you're going to have to be really, really on top of it and hit almost every target to jump on the screen. It's possible, but it's going to take you a long time and it's going to be really frustrating. Uh, I've put a lot of hours into this. I am just not a fan of this game. Um, Feature though, if you want to try to get it the legit way, you're more than welcome to. But I'm going to try to show you what this secret is. There's a very real chance that I'm not going to get it on the first try. And I'll show you where it is. I'm going to fast forward until we get there. Um, because again, you don't need to hit any of the rest of this stuff if you succeed at hitting the secret object. So we're just going to fast forward, and when you see the balloons here, that's when you know it's just about time to go back to normal speed. You're going to see a yellow blimp. Right behind there, and that's when you just want to start jamming on. And we missed it. Um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to hit the propeller. And if you hit it enough times, um, it will give you thousands and thousands of points. Uh, we missed it, so we're going to go all the way to the end. And we're just going to kind of ignore everything. Try to get this guy.
All right, and that's how you do it. Uh, notice that pretty much all I hit in that entire run uh, was just that flip propeller, and I got almost 13,000 points. Uh, so that is the easy way to do it. Uh, like I said, you don't need to do it that way, but if you don't do it that way, you're going to have to pretty much play a perfect game. And, as I mentioned, I've put hours and hours and hours into this. I don't think I've ever gotten 5,000 points legitimately, although it can be done. I'm not saying it's impossible, it's just, I don't think it's very fun. <laughs> and, uh, you know, isn't that why we're playing games in the first place, is to have fun. So, I'll leave it up to you. Either do it the legit way and spend a long time learning this game in and out, an enormous sense of accomplishment for doing it, or do it the cheating way, do it fast, or just skip it, because uh, you really don't need the umbrella. But, uh, there it is. Let's just make sure that we get our umbrella. There we go, umbrella. Okay, cool. So, um, the real kick in the pants is you're going to have to do that a second time. Um, once you come back to the Gold Saucer after this one, because this is also the only place to get one of Sid's weapons. And again, it's a very powerful weapon for Sid. I would argue that weapon is uh, way worth get, uh, way more worth getting than the Umbrella. But um, that's how you do it. Um, so again, uh, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.